Hello, I'm uh, Daniel Reid uh, from the School of Mathematics here at the University of Leeds and uh, in this podcast I'm going to say something about how you choose uh, different integration methods. Um, the first thing I should say to you is it's probably no surprise that you find uh, choosing an integration method a hard thing because integration is very much harder than differentiation. And let's have a little think about why that might be. Well, if you've got some function um, f of x, uh, whatever it is, and you're going to differentiate it, so we're, we're going to go from some function f of x to some new function, let's call it g of x, which is equal to df by dx. Then, uh, as part of your, your course, you'll have learned a whole host of different methods for uh, differentiating uh, different functions. You'll have learnt about differentiating simple functions like x to the power of n or uh, sine of x or uh, e to the x and so on. You'll have learnt different kinds of rules for differentiation like the product rule or the quotient rule or the chain rule and so on and so forth. And after a little while, having, having got used to differentiating these simple functions and got, getting used to all these different rules for product rule, quotient rule, uh, and so on, you, you kind of get to a stage where you think to yourself, actually, I can differentiate pretty much anything somebody throws at me. Uh, it's a very simple mechanical process. So there's a nice sort of smiley face you get. You think, right, I can differentiate anything, more or less. Um, but then when you're trying to integrate, you're trying to do the reverse of this process. You're trying to go backwards along here and trying to find some um, function of x, which is the integral of g of x dx. And because it's the reverse of this process, Essentially, what you're trying to do is make a guess. You're trying to guess what function it is I would have to differentiate in order to find g of x. And that's because it's this sort of backward kind of process, it's very much harder. Um, so what that means is sometimes it's not so easy to spot the right answer. Sometimes you might find that you can't even do the, the integration. Now, these integration methods that uh, you may have been learning about are methods to help you guess. Uh, but they won't help you uh, integrate absolutely everything. They'll probably help you integrate quite a lot of the questions you find on an A-level exam paper.